Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Dream Chaser, developed by Sierra Nevada Corporation, brings an innovative solution to the commercial spaceflight industry. Unlike conventional spacecraft, Dream Chaser has the capability to land on a runway like an airplane, promising cost savings and operational flexibility. However, Dream Chaser's journey has not been easy. The project has faced numerous technical challenges and significant delays, leading many to doubt its chances of success. While SpaceX's Starship is making rapid strides, Dream Chaser remains in an intermediate position, difficult to classify as either a complete success or failure. In 2024, Dream Chaser prepared for its inaugural flight to the International Space Station, marking a significant milestone. Yet there are still many issues to resolve before Dream Chaser can take flight. Will the first trip to the ISS be a success? Join us now to find out. The Dream Chaser project was initiated in 2004 under the management of Sierra Nevada Corporation. Unlike other spacecraft, Dream Chaser is designed as a reusable space plane capable of landing on conventional runways. This unique feature set it apart and garnered significant attention around 2010. The project secured contracts through NASA's Commercial Crew Development Pro. In 2016, Dream Chaser further made its mark with a $2.6 billion contract under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services II, tasked with transporting cargo to the International Space Station. Its cargo capacity and potential for crew transportation, combined with runway landing capability, positioned Dream Chaser ahead of competitors like SpaceX's Dragon and Boeing's Starliner. However, Dream Chaser's journey has not been smooth. Technical challenges have caused significant delays. Developing the thermal protection system and meeting stringent safety standards took longer than anticipated. Despite completing some successful tests, such as glide tests and environmental tests at NASA's Neil Armstrong Flight Research Center, the project's progress has still been slower than expected. Recently, Dream Chaser encountered another obstacle. Sierra Space had to postpone integrating the spacecraft with United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, pushing back the scheduled launch date even further. Originally planned for 2023, the first mission now may not occur until around 2025. This delay has raised doubts about the project's future, even among its supporters. In May 2024, Sierra Space's unmanned spacecraft Dream Chaser Tenacity arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida to prepare for its first flight to the International Space Station. This event marked a significant milestone, bringing Dream Chaser closer to its long-awaited mission. Remaining pre-flight activities include electromagnetic interference and acoustic tests, finalizing the thermal protection system, and integrating the final payload. However, the project still faces hurdles. Sierra Space identified significant risks that could make achieving a mid-year launch impossible. Consequently, ULA decided to launch a mass simulator instead of waiting for Dream Chaser readiness. This decision is critical for ULA's Vulcan rocket certification, which requires two test flights for future missions. Certification will enable ULA to start regular national security missions. The schedule for this rocket is tight. If Vulcan is certified after the scheduled September launch, ULA plans to launch two Space Force missions before the year's end. Packed schedule and limited number of Vulcan rockets could significantly delay Dream Chaser's next opportunity. Each Vulcan rocket is reusable. Manufacturing new ones is necessary for each mission. The second Vulcan rocket has just arrived at Cape Canaveral, but it appears that the next three Vulcan launches will not include Dream Chaser. However, Dream Chaser tenacity has achieved significant milestones, including rigorous environmental tests at NASA's Neil Armstrong Flight Research Center. Following these tests, Dream Chaser was transferred to Florida to undergo final pre-flight checks, including electromagnetic interference and acoustic tests, and to finalize the thermal protection system. This spacecraft can carry up to 3,545 kilograms of cargo to the International Space Station and return 1,588 kilograms to Earth. The Shooting Star module accompanying Dream Chaser can dispose of up to 3,856 kilograms of waste by burning it up during atmospheric re-entry. Comparing the challenges faced by other companies in meeting expectations, we can still commend Sierra Space for completing the project on schedule. 
Initially, NASA selected SpaceX, Boeing, and Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser for the commercial crew program. SpaceX received $2.6 billion, and Boeing received $4.2 billion. Under the leadership of Elon Musk, SpaceX developed the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Since its first test flight in May 2020, Crew Dragon has successfully transported astronauts to the ISS multiple times. Crew Dragon's ability to launch on schedule and meet NASA's rigorous standards has set a high bar in the industry. On the other hand, Boeing's Starliner has faced significant challenges despite receiving the largest NASA investment, twice that of SpaceX. Boeing struggled with its first unmanned test flight in December 2019, known as the Orbital Flight Test, OFT, due to software glitch. This failure significantly delayed the program. Boeing's second unmanned test flight finally launched in May 2022, after multiple delays, and was successful. Recently, on June 5, 2024, Boeing finally launched its first manned Starliner mission with astronauts. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams were the first to fly aboard Starliner, launching from Cape Canaveral Space Station. The mission began successfully as Starliner achieved orbit and subsequently performed additional maneuvers to adjust its trajectory. It docked with the ISS the following day, on June 6. However, Boeing's Starliner still faced numerous issues, including helium gas leaks and propulsion system anomalies, forcing NASA and Boeing to postpone the return of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams to Earth. These technical problems caused significant uncertainty. Therefore, with Dream Chaser, concerns about the project's future are inevitable. Persistent delays, coupled with fierce competition from rivals like SpaceX and Boeing, put Dream Chaser at risk of cancellation. However, this is the worst-case scenario, and there is still hope for Dream Chaser. Project has achieved significant progress, including completing crucial tests and gaining access to NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Dream Chaser's ability to overcome challenges and become a vital spacecraft will depend on resolving technical issues, effectively competing with rivals, and receiving continuous support from NASA. Sierra Space remains committed to launching Dream Chaser into space and believes it has the potential to be a safe, efficient, and cost-effective means of transporting astronauts and cargo. Only time will tell if Dream Chaser can overcome these challenges and become a success in space exploration. What are your thoughts on this mission? Share your opinions in the comments below and join us in following the latest development. That wraps up today's video highlights. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications to catch more exciting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye and see you next time.